Today I fucked up by yanking a string like Scorpion retracting his limp opponents. Disclaimer, I am not the owner of this story. He passed away 6 years ago and we were talking about him today. I used a throw away because I'm not interested in any karma from it. I just wanted to share a fuck up from a lost friend. Miss you dude, you still have me laughing. I don't know how to tell this from his perspective since I wasn't there. I'll just tell you about our interaction. We were both managers at a restaurant slash bar and we were busy as fuck on the weekends. Typically having two to four managers on property at a time all day Saturday and Sunday during service. I was the opener on a Sunday and he was supposed to be there at 11. He called me at 10.30 and said that he was going to be late he was sorry and he would explain when he got there. The night before he had closed so I didn't think anything of it. We usually didn't leave until 3 to 330 on a Saturday close and it was common to see the sun come up before you're ready for bed after to working like that. He rolled in around noon and we busted ass for a few hour and finally got some time to eat and chat. He had a stutter when really got into telling a story. Think it adds to it, and I'm leaving it in because I miss that big guy. Names changed. SSSSSSSS So last night Joy, Craig's girlfriend from Friday, yes, she bore a remarkable resemblance, asked me to come over after work. I told Momo I wasn't gonna be home and I was staying at your house since I had to be here so early. He moved his ailing mother in with him, she did not like Joy. He also lived about 45 to 50 minutes from the store and I lived like 5 away. WHWH well, Joy told me to come over after I got off. Got there, went inside, her bedroom door was open and there were candles everywhere, she was butt ass naked with her legs spread and told me to come get dessert. I was doing my thing and I saw this string with a little loop on it coming out her asshole. She was bucking and shaking and told me to pull it. So I pulled it like I was starting a lawnmower. She shit the bed. There was some blood and she was screaming and throwing shit at me yelling for me to get out. He ended up sleeping in his truck, showering at a truck stop and wearing the same clothes because he didn't want to wake his mom up coming home after he said he'd be at my house. I was crying and told him he should have just woken me up that it would have been worth the story. Love you big guy. Too long didn't read, yanked anal beads out like starting a weed whacker, instead started a poo fountain. Wow. Wound up temporarily homeless. Edit, the only thing I'm going to add is that something similar to this has clearly happened to more than one person. I give no fucks about some internet points on a damn throwaway account that will never see any posts besides this one. Was just reminiscing with some friends and this story came up, so I wanted to share because he loved making people laugh. Enjoyed the story or don't, try to have a decent day though my dudes. Edit 2, well fuck me, I'm adding one more thing. A friend group had been telling old stories all day in our group chat about him and it's been the best. If you've got a story of a loved one that's passed that you want to share please put it up. Beyblade Beyblade let it trip. Best part is when you say she was throwing shit at me and you just have to wonder if she really was or if it was a bad choice of words. You know, I never knew if it was literal shit or not. I always wondered why he needed a truck stop shower, but I never pressed that one. I was expecting to read tapeworm, so small improvement. I was thinking tampon. I hope she gave him a do-over. Sounds like the poor bastard just got a little carried away. Peas. R.I.P. to your friend. My condolences. I don't believe she gave him a second chance to start that mower. Thanks for the condolences, he is alive and well in our memories today. She was bucking and shaking and told me to pull it out. Oh, dear. Today I fucked up by unknowingly forcing my seed onto a crying woman's face. Dot. Oh my goodness, no wonder she hugged you for so long. It probably reminded her of her husband. Or like today I fucked up with wearing my cum shirt outside. I thought this story was going an entirely different direction based on the title. I thought you might have lead to a stoop hookup type situation and you painted on a grieving woman's face. Oddly similar outcome, but not quite what I was expecting. Who tf nuts on a shirt? Don't you have a happy sock, or a rag, or even some tissue? I know, right? Gotta be a coconut laying around somewhere. I will never understand using clothes to clean up after, just use tissues. Today I fucked up by predicting my great uncle's death.
I live 12 hours away from all of my family and finally was able to fly in to visit after being away for two years. On the day I was supposed to fly out, my husband got me to the airport too late and I missed my flight. When I spoke to the gate attendant, I was already a sobbing mess. Originally she wasn't going to help me get another flight out, but she asked the purpose of my flight. And my dumbass says funeral and her demeanor changed immediately. So I get a ticket for a flight first thing the following morning, yesterday. Upon landing, my mother is distraught. My great uncle suffered an unexpected heart attack on the golf course just two hours before. My flight had now been turned into one for a funeral. I haven't told anyone because I feel absolutely overwhelmed with guilt over circumstance. Too long didn't read, I missed a flight and lied to a gate attendant about a family member dying and they actually died. You didn't cause his death. Unless you're a witch, then you totally did. Sorry for your loss. Gate attendant went far and beyond the scope of their job to no only get you on a flight ASAP but make you not a liar. Sorry for your loss though. I killed Mr. Rogers in the same fashion. I saw him on TV and said, OMG, you're still alive? Next day he died. Same happened with my husband's grandmother. She told me to stop by her house and in my head, the next time I stop by, you'll be dead. A month later she died in her sleep and I stopped by her house. Oh yeah. I forgot my hamster. I was leaving for college and my hamster was on her last leg. I told her not to die until I left. According to my sister, she died as I was on my way to the airport. Have you considered booking a dinner reservation to celebrate world peace? It was an unfortunate coincidence. Most likely you just had a feeling of something bad going to happen but you definitely did not predict his death and are in no way responsible. You shouldn't feel guilty. Sorry for your loss.